Hi, this is Dee with CrochetTalk.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this ruffled scarf. You will be using a skein of the ruffled yarn. I will be using Red Heart Boutique by, uh, Sachet. I am also going to be using a size J crochet hook. And then all you need is a pair of scissors. So to get started, you just want to take the label off and open up your yarn. Now this one has a knot, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the knot out. Okay. Um, sometimes you'll see where it's knotted. It's because they ran out of yarn and they had to add another skein to it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw away this piece here. And then you just want to open this up and you'll see that it comes real bunched together. So the hardest part on this is just opening it up as you're working with it. Okay, to begin, you're going to have this edge here. You open it up, this thicker edge goes down to the bottom, and these bigger loops up at the top, you will be working into those. You want to go ahead and skip the first four loops. So here's the first loop, second loop, third loop, fourth loop, and then I work into the fifth loop just to have this much hanging. All you want to do is stick your crochet hook inside and then you're going to wrap your loops around the crochet hook but in between you're going to skip a loop. You're going to wrap 10 times so you're going to skip this loop, go to the next loop and put it on the hook. Skip the next loop, go to the next loop, put it on the hook that's three. Skip the next loop, put it on your hook for four, and you do want to do this ten times. Skip, put it on your hook for five, and if you notice I'm not going behind, I am going in front. I'm skipping the next loop, putting on the next for six, skipping the loop, number seven, skipping, going to number eight, skipping, going to number nine, and if you can see, I need to open up more yarn. I'm just going to open that up, skipping the next loop, going to loop ten. Now from here, all you want to do is grab your first loop, push your hook down so you can pull it through all the loops on the hook. And there you have your first ruffle. This is very simple. It's a quick project. Great Christmas gifts or gifts for any time of the year for spring. You're just going to continue that across now working in the top loops. Skip this loop. Go into the next. There's one. Skip. Work into the next two, skip, work into the next for three, skip, four, and I am working in the very top loops, skip, five, skip, six, skip, for seven, skip, for eight, skip, for nine, skip the next loop, working into the tenth loop, and again, I want to turn my hook to grab it there, and then I am just going to pull through all of the loops on the hook. And there you have your second ruffle. Now you just want to continue that across. 
all the way, working, skipping a loop, working into the next for 10 loops on the hook, pulling through. I am going to work it across to about the last 10 stitches. I will meet you at the last 10. Here, my yarn is going to kind of twist up. So every so often, you're going to have to turn your skein to untangle the yarn or to unwind the yarn. So I just want to turn it in the direction that it's twisting. And then as you can see, it's untwisted and now it's easier to open again. This is a very quick project, so like I said, continue on. I will meet you at the very last 10 stitches. Pause the video now. Here I am at the end of my skein. This is what the scarf looks like so far. It is a long scarf. I do have a few more loops to work through, but so far this is what I have. And then there's the end. If you want a much shorter scarf, because this is a pretty long scarf, if you want a much shorter scarf, you could either end earlier on the skein or you can add more loops to the hook. Instead of working in the 10 loops, you can go up to 15. You can do less loops. It's totally up to you. It's very easy to switch it to make it shorter. I do work the whole skein. I am going to stop here even though I have loops left because I do want enough to end it off. So in this very last loop after you work the last ruffle, you just want to go ahead and grab the end here and you're just going to wrap your hook around it and then you're going to pull the end all the way through your last loop. And then just tighten it and you can leave it like this but I don't I go ahead and secure it even more than that I get the end tail and I wrap it and I make a knot right above where I pulled it through on that last loop I pull it tight to secure it pretty tight and then this is where I will trim the rest of the yarn I don't go right above the knot, but I will go a little bit above it. So you have this left. I toss that in the trash. And then you don't have to worry about this knot being be sh to be shown because the ruffles will hang down over it. And it'll cover it. And that's how you end that. Now at the beginning where you skipped all those stitches, you just want to go ahead and do the same thing as far as securing a knot. I just grab it to where I started, wrap it around, pull it through, pull my knot tight, make sure it's secure and tight, and then again I will trim the rest of that off about right here. Toss that in the trash, and then those ruffles will cover this side. So you don't have to worry about it showing. And there we go. So there you have your scarf. Again, if you want it shorter, just add more loops or stop earlier in the skein of yarn. Again, you want to use Red Heart Boutique Sachet. It is a ruffle yarn. This is Dee with CrochetTalk.com.